Slow PC, not an issue. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to optimize your Blender application to better run and export your Blender scene while on a lower end potato PC. I will be showing you the before and after results of all the settings and adjustments made so you can decide whether it is worth it for yourself. It is first important to know the specs of the device that I am using. I have a 12th generation Intel Core i3-1215U, 8GB of RAM and a Samsung SSD. The exact model will be put on screen as it will take far too long to pronounce. Anyway, let's hop straight into it. Firstly, we'll be focusing on the viewport. The very first suggestion is easy and simple to do, but is quite commonly overlooked. Press Z on your keyboard and ensure that you are not in render view, and instead in material or solid view. Head to the Render Properties tab, and for the best performance, you will want to select EV over Cycles, as that can be more resource intensive. Also, in sampling, decrease the viewport sampling. This will change the quality of the scene, but not in your final render. You can set this to a value of 8 or lower, depending on your specs. As a little bonus, you can also disable viewport denoising, which means your PC will have to do less work in the viewport. If you scroll down a little further in that tab, you will find Simplify. Start by checking that box and opening the tab. You will see some viewport and some render options. Start by decreasing the subdivisions to 3 or 4 and change Max, Child, Particles, Volume Resolution and Shadow Resolution to around 0.5. It is important to know that this does not affect the quality of your final render, just while it is in the viewport. A last setting to change would be pressing Edit, Preferences, Viewport and change the values of the viewport anti-aliasing. I will change it to Single Pass anti-aliasing and I will set the anisotropic filtering to off. Now time to speeding up the render time for your project. It is important to note though, that doing this will inevitably decrease the final quality of your render. It is important to start by noting that the render time of the default settings, which was 16 seconds. Since we are already in the simplified tab, we will start there. Decreasing these fields will reduce the quality of your final render, which is why we will adjust them a minimum amount. Start by decreasing the max subdivisions to 4 or 5. This means that there will be less edges to render. Decrease max child particles to 0.8 and do the same for the shadow resolution. Then back in the sampling tab, reduce the render resolution of the value of your choice. You can play around with this. I will be changing it to 16. Ensure the ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections, and motion blur is disabled. This could also apply for the viewport section previously. Scroll down and open the shadow tab and decrease the cube and cascade size. Decreasing it to half should do the job. Also disable soft shadows. A last but optional choice is to decrease the resolution of your final render. You can do this by going into the Output tab in Properties and changing the X and Y resolution. Or you can just change the percentage resolution, which is shown below. This will affect the quality of your final render, but it means that less pixels will have to be rendered. After making those changes, I will again render my project. As you can see, the render time has gone from 16 to 17.69 seconds. This is a 52% decrease of time, which shows that it has made a significant change to the render time. I will show here the comparison of quality to both, which isn't really too noticeable, especially if you're just trying to make a prototype shot. 